Meanwhile, the price of EpiPen skyrocketing, continuing to cause outrage. Georgina Carnago Cipriani joins me now uh, to discuss her son who passed away from an allergic reaction. Georgina, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us, tell us your story here and, and, and your thoughts about this massive spike in cost for EpiPens. Uh, well, uh, my journey began when I lost my son three years ago to uh, food allergies. And I started a support group, a food allergy support group. And I recently have become empowered with uh, pushing against this outrage with EpiPens, the price hike of EpiPens, which has increased uh, almost 500% in uh, the past few sure. years. Sure. Um, it's horrendous how parents have had to deal with whether they can afford to uh, put food on the table or buy an EpiPen, which will save their child's life. Um, what, um, what, what's the drug company telling you? What, what's, uh, are, they, are they receptive to you? Do they take your calls? Or, or are you really, is this, you know, how's that fight going? They have, I know they've been silent for quite some time until just very recently. I think a lot of the answers that uh, many of the parents are getting right now is basically they're blaming it on insurance companies. And I do think that insurance companies are also the blame, high deductibles. Uh, it's it's a battle with both, and it's just it's not a battle. It shouldn't be a battle. It sh it should be accessible to all. It shouldn't be something that a parent has to worry about. It should just be EpiPens should be available to anyone who has uh, this sure. this this problem. This I, I mean, you know, we we all understand business, and we're a business network, and we understand supply and demand. But some people are saying the other side of this is you've got one company making this now. Right. Uh, they have a monopoly, right. and they're taking advantage of the monopoly. Right. Uh, insurance companies decide a 500% increase is outrageous. outrageous. It's really outrageous. Yes. And we're talking life or death. Yes. Young people like your son yes. dying because they don't have access to this pen. Yes. What sort of responsibility do these companies have? I mean, I, well, we know they've got to make a profit. And no one, no Correct. one begrudges. This. I don't think you begrudge them for that. Correct. But why did they have to raise the price 500 percent? That's the question. Why? Especially why? Because data has shown that the cost is only a dollar per uh, per uh, pen? per pen. Wow. Yes. Wow. One so dollar. We why? have a, a photograph of your son, uh, Giovanni, uh, on the screen there. Uh, your group. What's the name of your group? Do you have a, a, f a friend, uh, friends helping friends, uh, food allergy support group? Okay, we want to make sure that uh, we get the word out and that it grows and that you have, when you start knocking on these doors, and we want we want the, the pounding to sound louder and louder on the inside. Uh, again, you know, I I preach capitalism 24 hours a day. I don't think this is capitalism. I think what they're doing is is, is utterly disrespectful, and and it's harmful. If you can speak to them, what would you tell them if, if you can get a visit with them sometime in the near, near future? I would tell them, you know, if, if, they, if it was their own family members, how would they feel if there was something that was being held, uh, t that was taken away from them that would be able to save their own, their own child, their own loved ones? You know, these are our loved ones, and we are being held captive from what can actually save our own people, our own, our own loved ones, from a medicine that, uh, you know, is our, our only, our only life, right. our life-saving medication, and it's not fair. Virginia, thank you very much. God bless you, and keep pushing. Keep thank pushing. you. Thanks thank you very much.